Lucan beliefs and practices with rituals for solitaries and covens by Gary Cantrell. So, once again, secondhand store for like ten dollars for like a twenty dollar book. So, first off, I kind of want to go with. I got it. He was more leaning towards coven related. Um, top, but he does say, on the other hand, here's what solitaries can do. Bookmarked a few things. Like, like a few uh, other books that I know I'm not the only one who's picked up. But difference between Wicca, Paganism, and Witchcraft. And if you look here, can't really read it, and it's backwards from this camera. But he has a representation of pagan t traditions and paths. So he's got paganism here, but like all others, Wicca, Olympian, Egyptian, Confucian, Buddhist, and then he got his Wiccan Wicca drop down for like British traditional Celtic which is brought down into a whole nother thing and a few others. Um again, what does Wicca really embody? Um goes into the aspect of one and then the god and goddess. Um, and the nice little thing, he does a chapter summary after each chapter, so if you want to go skim through through this book, do the chapter summaries and just abbreviate it. Uh, so obviously a book about beliefs and practices, you got the ethics of Wicca. Um, the thing um, I find he does a lot is quote different encyclopedias and dictionaries and stuff of of stuff which can be a good thing but after like a few times I saw them I'm like no I can look it up on my own if I want to um so, in another section, he has um, the mirror, a mirror book, and a book of shadows. So he kind of talks about um, that, and then doo -doo -doo -doo, what did I mark? So this is um, kind of an older book. This goes. As you can see, it goes up to 2004. I think it was published in 2002 or something. Um, but it does have like tables, like lunar correspondence table. And so it does go into other rites like um, cons consecration rite, dedication or initiation, um, cake and ale, other stuff. So, chapters later, you get, um, first appendix is classic Wiccan text, so you got the two versions of the Wiccan read, a uh, charge of the goddess and god, and then appendix B, you get general deity and quarter invocations, um, Uh, see, so you get like a brief dictionary of the gods and goddesses. 
Um, yeah. And then you got shops and sources of stuff like even he's used. Um, a bibliography, he's annotated it. So you get, if you don't know what annotation is, you got the website and a brief description of something, of like almost like a summary of it. Well, that's what he has. Um, so you go websites, books. Um, I found this well, well written. So if you just want to kind of like collection of, again, beliefs and practices. This like, I found this well written. Um, even though it's slightly slanted more towards coven stuff. Well, not coven stuff, coven work. Um, there's, he has, like, says, oh, and solitaries, this can happen for you guys. So, yeah. Um, he has some good stuff. It's not just information, it's just, it's not just information, there are, um, some stories in there as well as, saying experiences with what he's written with them. So, yeah. Um, I found this better than, um, other books I have come across. Like, like, um, hey, I still have this one. This one, even though it is good, um, to me, it's constricted, um, more textbooky. Whatever. This I can I could have I can easily read read read, and I like it with the simple Wicca. I'm like, nah. I'll I coast it and like it's a good book, but not for me. But yeah, so yeah, so there you go. Um, so with Wiccan Beliefs and Practices.